Hello, this is Daniel with Geovision Technical Solutions Division, and in this video tutorial, I kind of want to go over the GV Sync utility. So, after you insert the disk, the one that is labeled the 857, which is the NVR DVR CMS software, will go to install the free utility, which is option number three, and then choose yes on the license agreement. And then you'll get a list of different applications here. First thing that we want to install is the GV IP device utility. This will allow us to scan the network for all GeoVision IP cameras. First thing it's going to ask for is the destination folder. We'll just go ahead and click next. And that's it. You'll see a desktop shortcut called GV IP device utility. Now the second thing we want to install is the GV sync utility. So down at the bottom, we'll see an arrow to go to the next page. Go ahead and click that, and then we'll see the GV SD card sync utility. We'll go ahead and click that. And it'll again ask for the destination folder, which is perfectly fine. Go ahead and choose next and finish. Then we can go ahead and exit the software install and then open up the GV IP device utility just by double clicking it on the desktop. You can also find it in start all programs. This takes about 45 seconds to scan the network for all the GeoVision IP cameras. Now I have a BX520D here. I'm just going to simply left click on the IP address and go down to configure. And I just want to make sure that the network information matches my network. So I'm going to go to start. Inside the search, type in CMD, that's Charlie Michael David, and press enter. And then IP config forward slash all india papa charlie oscar november foxtrot india golf forward slash alpha lima lima and then press enter and then i'm going to scroll up and just make sure that all my network information matches the only thing we do not want matching is the ip address each ip address for each device on the network has to be unique so we want the subnet the gateway and the dns servers to match as we can see they do match so I'm going to choose cancel here. I'm going to left click on the IP address and go to web page. Now, if you have any other browser other than Internet Explorer, like for example, Firefox or Google Chrome, you'll want to take the IP address and open up Internet Explorer and type it in. If you come across a page that says IDS underscore VS underscore login, all you need to do is simply click the compatibility button at the bottom or at the top there, and then it should say login and password. Our default username and password are admin and admin. I'm going to click apply. Okay, now we click install and click retry. And then install again. Now after the codec and the ActiveX controls are installed, we should be able to go to Video Emotion, Live Video, Streaming 1, and we should get the image of the camera. If you want to make quick camera adjustments, just click the arrow in the top right, and then click the arrows till you get to Camera Adjustments. And here you can make changes to saturation, white balance, to the slow shutter speed, and the day-night settings. To set up SD card recording, the first thing we want to do is go down to Management on the left-hand side, and then go to Storage Setting. And then we want to format the SD card. We'll choose Format and choose OK. Depending on the size of the SD card, this could take up to about 20 minutes. Once it's done formatting, then we will want to go to our video in motion and go down to motion detection. Inside here, we need to drag and drop a box over the area where we want to detect the motion and choose add and then click save. Now when I move my hand in front of the camera, you'll see the little running man will turn red, meaning it detected motion. And then you go ahead and choose apply. 
and then we'll go down to our recording schedule and go to camera and I always choose span one and you can have this either around the clock or on motion. I'm going to choose motion from 100 to 100 so that's 24 7 motion and choose apply and then I'm going to go to monitoring and I'm going to change this to schedule and hit start. Now the camera is recording on a schedule of motion 24 7. I'm going to go ahead and close Internet Explorer and then I'm going to go to the start all programs GV SD card sync and GV SD card sync again and then once this pops up it always asks us when do we want to sync the files we could have it sync at an interval of one minute or I could change it to say 60 minutes for every hour or we could sync automatically at a certain time I could say 12 o'clock this is military format so if you do want it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon you'd have to put 1400 and then you have the option to download the audio files you also have an option to start up automatically with Windows login you can also limit the download speed of each device zero is unlimited so I'm gonna sync at an interval of five minutes and then go to storage Here's where I can choose where I want the video files to be stored. I can go to start, go to computer, and I have a second partition here. I'm just going to right click and choose new folder and call this geo SD sync. I'm going to close this and now I'm going to browse to that folder. And now all my video files will go to the D drive in the folder called GeoSD Sync. I can also recycle when the storage space is less than one gigabyte, or I can change that to 100 gigabytes. So there's always 100 gigabytes of free space. I'm going to go ahead and keep that at one, or I can choose to keep the downloaded files for a certain amount of days. So let's say I only want to keep them for seven days. So every time I open up the utility, I'll be able to go back seven days. I'm going to just choose the recycle option and press OK. And now this will scan the network and automatically sync the, the cameras on the network. So you can see status synchronized complete. I can again choose sync all devices. And then I can go to play video. Program cannot start because GVLVR server.dll is missing from your computer. That just simply means I need to install the remote view log. To install the remote view log, I go to start, computer, open the disk again, and then choose the install free utility. Choose yes on your license agreement, and then locate the remote view log by clicking the arrow at the bottom and then choosing GV Remote View Log. Now we'll click Next on the Destination folder. And then you want to choose your screen resolution. To get your screen resolution, go to Start. In the search, type desk.cpl, that's Delta Echo Sierra Kilo dot Charlie Papa Lima, press Enter. And then you'll see your resolution. Mine is 1280 by 800. So I'm going to match it, 1280 by 800. If your resolution does not match, just make sure the resolution you choose is larger than your Windows resolution. And then click Next. I'm going to go ahead and place a shortcut on the desktop and click Finish. Now I'm going to close all these windows. And now when I click Play Video, the Remote View Log will pop up and start playing the video. After the Remote View Log opens, you'll see we have one file here. I can go ahead and choose play at the bottom. To exit the vlog application, we simply click the power button in the bottom left and choose exit.